rheumatoid arthritis that I've had for 20 years. 20 years, was it hurting? Very bad. Very bad. Well, who ever heard of rheumatoid arthritis getting healed? You know, maybe a little crackling arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and- I've been able to move my knees and walk on my feet let's, without- Let's pain. move them like that. Look at that. I have been able to do that for a long time. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Jesus. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Praise God. Hi, little buddy. What did Jesus do for you? He straightened my back up and gave... Okay. Well, what, you tell us then what happened. Uh, he was born with a curvature of the spine. He was born with curvature of the spine. That's called a big word, scoliosis. But it's gone now. Jesus straightened it up. Took it it Did he have pain in his back? Not really. But it just straightened your back. Did you ever know that was something else? Mommy, do you remember? Dyslexia. Oh, you had dyslexia? Uh, uh, could you not read good? The words didn't look good on the page, and now they're healed? Can you, did he, was he able to tell where the words changed around? Haven't checked him? Well, you check him because maybe a J was upside down or backwards. He makes them backwards. Now, you'll have to just learn that again, and then you can learn real fast in school. Because, Father, I thank you that you rewired all of those, and they'll work perfectly. Uh, why don't you see if you can get a piece of paper and get him to, uh, you make a J first, and then let him find some piece of paper. Somebody give him a little piece of paper, and then come back up. She was, she was healed of a jaw. She had a bad car accident in 80, and her jaw was all messed up. What was, what was your jaw like? Uh, they fixed everything except for the joints, and the joints were so painful, they'd give me close... So they were painful when you went out there tonight? Yes. Well, did somebody do you like this? Yes. And see, see, just exactly like we taught them, we think this is so fantastic that these students picked it up. And we told them yesterday, when you move, mash forward there just a little bit, say, in Jesus' name, the power of God from the Spirit of God flows in there, and it just moves that and move your jaw around. Doesn't hurt at all? No. Working perfectly? That's a big, big miracle. Uh, injured in an accident, a jaw injury, and uh, God just simply put it back together, and the jaws are working normally. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't that fantastic? Did you get a healing too? Yeah, we were both delivered from smoking. Ali, that's a big, big miracle. Delivered of smoking. Did you get delivered of snuff? Uh, they, Is this your mom and dad? They grew out my arms and my legs, and they solved another problem. Did you have any pain in your body before? Did you just all the arms and legs go out? An inch short. Did you ever see that before? Isn't that the neatest thing? Now, did you receive the baptism tonight? Do you speak in tongues? Sunday night. Sunday night. Isn't that fun? Now, I tell you what. Tomorrow, you find three or four people together and say, hey, you can find friends if you want to and say, let's check and see if you got a short arm or short leg and say, this happened to me last night and I want to show you it can happen to you. And you get them, hold them and just say, in Jesus' name. And when you say that, that arm or leg will grow out and you can do it too. Is that all right? Praise God. That's a beautiful miracle. Hallelujah. Okay. Well, thank you, Jesus. Can you see that fourth? Was it four in a family got healed? Four in one family and delivered of cigarettes. Hallelujah. Brother. What happened to you? What was wrong? Well, I've been a diabetic for about 11 years. I walked in here tonight. I did it on a cane. My legs were both numb. I have had hemorrhaging in my eyes. And praise the Lord, uh, he blessed me and healed me Ali, with all his love. All the, he he all the uh, hemorrhaging gone now? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. And, uh, problem with his leg with the numbness and the Lord has straightened that and the muscles are stronger there's no numbness anymore no numbness hallelujah praise that let's walk out here I just have to get used to walking again normal hallelujah you came in on a crutch tonight on a, a walking on a cane tonight yes, sir. okay now you just be careful until you get that strength back yeah I have to thank you hallelujah. Isn't that, 
Isn't that fantastic? Now just see, even when you're laying around a little bit, do a little exercise those legs and that'll help strengthen them. You have a bike, you know. He's going to go home and ride his bike. Friday he's going to the doctor to show and tell his new pancreas. Hallelujah. You write us a letter and tell us about that, okay? Praise the Lord. All right, Hallelujah. Isn't this fantastic? You want to take a few of them, baby? Uh, isn't this exciting? Oh, this is what. All right, tell me what happened to you. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> I had uh, spurs on the bottom, of both of my feet, on my spine, on my neck. I had a bad heart valve, and I had sugar diabetes, and bad eardrums, and I don't have them anymore. And you just got healed of all of it when a believer out there just laid hands on you. Isn't that exciting? Let's give Jesus a hand for that one. Okay. Oh, praise the Lord. Come up here. Hallelujah. Here's that lady that wrote that fabulous book, The Murdered Heiress. And here she is. Glory to God. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Dr. Petey Wagner. Oh, praise the Lord. If you haven't read that book, go into the bookstore here and get it because it's a fabulous book. And they got... Do you agree with me? I agree. Give, give a good word tonight. Oh, it's a good, it's a good service. This is exactly what we need. Amen. Hallelujah. And are you just listening to all these? Bringing them into the churches. They'll be out healing them and bring them, getting them out of the wheelchairs and bringing them into the churches. You're absolutely right. <laughs> beautiful. We won't have to work so hard. No, that's right. That we won't have to work so hard. Isn't that beautiful? You know, I just, I said, I always said, if Jesus would have let me have this zeal, that I had when I built four million dollar corporations, I'd had him back alone. Isn't that the truth? You'd have had him back. You're doing all right now, though. Look at those 99 rings on there. Bless you. Take a look at those. Glory to God. Hallelujah. She's the author of the book Murdered Heiress, Dr. P.D. Wagner. Well, praise the Lord. She was healed of cancer. I laid hands on her years ago, and she had cancer. How many do you think she looks pretty healthy? You're right. What did Jesus do for you, sweetheart? Once in a while, I would have pains in the bottom of my legs, and I went up to one of the ladies up in the lobby, and she just healed me. She grew out my legs and my arms, and my legs are just healed. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? You love Jesus? Yes, I do. Oh, you've got the baptism with the Holy Ghost. You speak in tongues? Yes. Oh, boy. Isn't that really wonderful? What is that? When did you start speaking in tongues? About two years ago. About two years? And how old are you now? Um, almost 12. And You're almost 12, and she got the baptism when she was 10 years. Now, you can go out and heal the sick. You know that, don't you? Yep. <laughs> oh, boy, from now on, she's going to go out healing the sick. All right, and here's the gentleman. What happened to you? Well, I had a clicking in my jaw for two years, and uh, while the guy, while the, a man was ministering to me, he, his wife said she felt an intense pain, uh, heat in my back, and uh, I didn't recall that I had any pain in my back, but I did remember that for the past couple of years when I turned my neck I had a grinding in my neck it just and I thought it was normal <laughs> there's no grinding my jaws quit clicking and it grew up my arms <laughs> well you know that's you see that's one of the things that we learn in the healing school here we learned that this up here can be affected by this down here and when you heal this down here then that automatically heals it up there I tell you we've learned so many things since we've been here that's all on those those cassette tapes that they can get from the uh, from the bookstore here well, praise the Lord. What did they do? What did the ministering healer, the one who did the ministering of healing, what did they do? Grow out your arms? Well, first he lifted my jaw up like this, and, and then um, it, the clicking didn't go away. It stayed. And then, well, then he uh, grew up my right arm, and he said, well, your left arm's a little shorter now. And so my left arm grew out. And then he said, uh, and then after that, his wife said she felt the, the heat in my back and, um, and that, uh, that, that had taken place and I didn't remember but then um, we, we worked on the jaw for a while longer and um, I still had the clicking yes, yes. they did like that see I want to I want to show you what has happened we've been teaching them and we've taught them to uh, do adjustment in the neck by the power of God we taught them to grow out arms and we taught them to put their hand right behind the jaw bones and push forward and say in Jesus name when that happens the power of God pushes that jaw bone back in place and that's what happened to you well, it didn't it it still clicked for maybe uh, 15 minutes after they uh, ministered to me and then I was moving around and I, I just kept saying I received this healing I know that I'm healed and uh, I began to feel this, it the, began to hurt, pain, and then I felt an intense, just tingling. And then 
shortly after that, it was gone. Hallelujah. I hope you, hope you understand that. About 15 minutes as he walked around there, and then the healing, all the completion. God was working in there. The hands were laid on. The power went in. And isn't that enough to heal the sick? And then in 15 minutes, all the clicking left and all the pain left. You know, one of the things that I want to say to you, and I hope there are people listening out there, so many times, if we don't see that instant miracle take place that second, we say, well, I didn't get it, and they lose their healing. But you see, you kept believing that you had your healing, even though it took 15 minutes, and that's really not very long, is it? Oh, go on your way rejoicing, and the rest of you remember that. Give God 15 minutes. Oh, all right. Oh, oh I want this lady to come up here, because she just had a real exciting thing happen. What happened to you? Well, I... I have a very bad back, and I was led to the Lord, really, through my chiropractor, you know, and I just received healing tonight, and I have a cataract in my left eye, and it's, everything is so bright and beautiful, I just feel like praising. Isn't that wonderful? She got a cataract taken off of her eye, and she got the, and, and she got the, there's her chiropractor down there, hallelujah, glory to God. All right, now I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to let him examine you, okay? You see, now, you see, because God's healing will stand up under the examination. Okay, now examine what her, where her problem was, okay? Thank you, Jesus. Look at this chiropractor examining her. Thank you, Jesus. What happened? Clear as a bell. Here is a bell. Did you hear? Her own chiropractor is here at the service tonight. What's your name? Dr. Bill Kuberger. Dr. Bill Kuberger, Kuberger from St. Pete. Uh, All right. Were you the one that led her to Jesus? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A chiropractor, she goes in, pays him good money to lead her to Jesus. I think that's out of standing. You were, you've invested good money there. Praise the Lord. Give God a praise offering. Thank you, Jesus. Beautiful. She had a deeper need than just the physical. A deeper need than just the physical, and that was met too, wasn't it? Because you keep praising God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't that exciting to have the doctor here and to have these confirmed by doctors? You know, we have doctors and chiropractors going all the way around out there in the lobby verifying these healings. Well, now, come on. You look happy. Tell us what happened to you. Testify that one of the believers laid hands on me, and I've been healed of hernia. I had the hernia for 10 years, and I know the Lord healed me even like one of the believers just laid hands on me. I have just laid in the spirit. I was in the spirit, and now I know I'm healed. Praise Ten him. years, he's had a hernia, and he was healed when a believer laid hands on him. Oh, give Jesus a big hand. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right, tell him what you were healed of tonight. Six stomach lupus, diabetes, heart trouble, high blood pressure, ulcers. Uh, 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 my goodness. Uh, high on oh, my hip. And, well, I'll tell you one thing, the doctor said I got eight major things wrong with me. I can't think of all of it, but I'm, and my, my, I'm nervous, but I feel better. Oh, and she just got healed by the power of God. There you go, honey. Well, here's a young man. Honey, what happened to you? He has never talked. He's always been deaf, so he's just getting his hearing. Oh, say that again. Uh, I'm not his mother, but I doctored, I mean, I treated him while I prayed with him. Talk a little louder. Oh. He has never talked. He's never heard. He has sign language, but he says the noise is getting loud in here. He told by hand signals that the music. He's been deaf, for, born deaf, and he's never been able to talk. Say mama. <laughs> Say mama. <laughs> Say baby. Say baby. All right, let's try this one. Say, Papa. Papa. Praise God. This lady, you notice she's wearing a little healing team badge. She said, when I put my fingers on his ears, he got real hot. And now he can hear all these words. You can see him shaking his head and seeing that everything he hears. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke this dumb spirit i command this tongue to speak in jesus name okay Amen. Uh, do you sign language to him tell him to say baby Papa. 
See? See, he can speak. Just tell him to say, Jesus. Say, say, See that? Now tell him to say, I know Jesus is a hard one to say, but it sure is a good one. So see if he can do that. That's Jesus. That's he is talking and he is hearing. Now, Mama, all you have to do is teach him from now on, just like, because he's never done this before. Isn't that exciting? You can teach him to talk. You can uh, let him hear you and have a lot of fun. And it's not going to be great. Hallelujah. Mama, what do you think this is going to do to your family? Well, I think this will restore our home. And I know this is going to bring a lot of happiness and things that we've hoped for for a long, long time since the day he was born. I had prayed for complete healing in his life. And I think now we can be a complete family. Uh -huh. that now, don't you wish you could have found somebody like Charles and Francis? Aren't you glad you found somebody out in the hall? Amen. Yeah. See, this is what uh, God is saying. That's why uh, I said a while ago, folks, go out to where the people are. That's where Jesus is healing. And it's getting stronger and stronger on this earth. It's going to be awesome to really see the miracle power through the hands of believers from now until Jesus comes back. Hallelujah. God bless you. Say, Papa. There you go. God bless you, little buddy. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All right, brother, what was wrong with you? Poor circulation. My right leg was shorter. My leg got stretched out. My pulse come back. I didn't have pulse in either leg. I had a sore arm. That's all gone. All gone. Thank you, Jesus. Now, do you have some young man or old man or what? Lady? Uh, I had a, a, a man, and then I had a lady. Oh, in the in the, in the back room. Isn't that fantastic? I went back in the back room. God just met him back there because God lives in people. Go on your way rejoicing. Thank Jesus off and testify about these miracles. Isn't that beautiful? You must be surely an Irishman with all that green on. I'm German. He's German with all that green on. Hallelujah. And this is Mickey Mouse. Well, not really. What was wrong with you? Okay, I had scoliosis of the spine since second grade, mild case. And they grew out my legs, and my feet started tingling, and I got healed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Did you have any pain in the back before? Um. Does it feel looser? Yeah, Hallelujah. That was Jesus, wasn't it? Through an ordinary believer. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Charles, there, there's uh, some believers out there praying for a lady who had her leg cut off, and the leg has already grown out three inches, and they say the bone is forming in the leg. So they just want everybody to continue to agree in prayer that she will be healed. There's a lady out there in a wheelchair that had a leg cut off, and some believers are praying, and the leg has grown out over three inches already. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Well, what did God do here? Amen on the walker. And he couldn't bend his knees or nothing. And then says he had a heart attack, and the Lord gave him a new heart, and he's walking. And they said they hadn't seen him walk in a year. Isn't that beautiful? He hasn't walked in a year, had a heart problem. Let's just walk. Just, would you see, bend those knees like this? Look at that. Came in on a walker. He doesn't need a walker anymore. That is God's power. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You better believe it. And you know you got a new heart there, too. Praise the Lord. That is good, my brother. Praise the Lord. Praise, you, sister. Praise, you. Praise the Lord. Come and tell what it was. They, uh, she got a little boy, and, uh, and we got four little grandgirls that spirit-filled. They love Jesus. And if you ever try to get them to do something you want them to do, they're just like any other kid. They won't do it. So our little boy is kind of running away. But tell what, what was wrong and what happened. Uh, my son's five and a half years old, and he's been deaf since birth. And he was healed tonight. Deaf since birth, and he was healed tonight. Can we see him? You see where he went? He, this is you right here. He got healed. He can hear tonight. Say, pa. Can you say, papa? Papa. He wouldn't say that for anybody in the world. Hi, Jim. Praise the Lord. Come up here. Stand up here. I want the people to see you. If you've ever been on uh, listening to WCIE radio, this is Jim. 
the voice of the radio. We've been having such a good time praying for people tonight, and it's been so exciting to see people want God to move in their lives. And I know that, that the Word works. God is not a man that he should lie. And when the Bible says, praise God, these signs shall follow the believers, praise God, he wasn't joking. Now, now, Jim had to work all his time, and so finally he got this last Saturday, just before the healing explosion was ready, and he got 12 hours of videotape. Yes, and I sat there for 13 hours, as a matter of fact, and we had a wonderful time. A little boy was out in the hallway out here, and I went out and put my fingers in his ears, and I commanded that foul, deaf spirit to come out of him, and he was doing just like that little boy. We were going, baby, baby, like that. It was fantastic. Yeah, that, uh, we were just dealing with a little boy that just got totally healed since birth, and he was healed of deafness. His mama just touched all over it. Man, it's so exciting that these signs are following the believers. And it's not just the pastors, and it's not just Charles and Francis. We love you very much. But praise God, now we get our chance. Hallelujah. Now, now, if they want to listen to you on radio, when can they do that? From 6 to 10. From 6 to 10, which days? Uh, Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. I'd have every one of them get in on the word, praise God. Hallelujah. Now, now, what number do they have to dial in? FM 91. FM 91. Everyone say FM 91. Thank you, Tune in from uh, what? 6 to 10. 6 to 10 every morning while you're driving to work, when you're sleeping too late, whatever. <laughs> Listen to Jim. And I tell you, this young man, the power of God's on him. Uh, just uh, when was it that you brought all of your funds and gave them to Francis? It was... um. About, uh, well, uh, I guess back in 19, uh, uh, about 1979, I came and gave everything that I had to Sister Frances here. I said, I don't have any money. I'm out of a job. I'm, and I gave her my little offering that I could. She said, get ready to go to work. And praise God, I went to work at WCIE. So God yeah. is very good. I tell you, you ought to listen to that. Come up and visit him sometime. It's a beautiful one. Jim, God bless you. So glad that you're out there healing the sick, casting out devils. I'm going to do it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, what we got here? I had a fractured finky, pinky, and then this one was hurting too. This one was fractured, and this one was broke or just injured? Mm -hmm. And what happened? Can you do them like this? Hold them up like this. See that? A fractured finger. Look at it work. Isn't that fantastic? Did you ever hear bones getting put back together? What? Did you ever hear bones getting put back together like that? They generally have to put them in a brace and leave them there for weeks. Yes. It was in a brace, but it isn't anymore. Isn't that fantastic? Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you for sharing. Isn't that fantastic? Praise the Lord. All right, what, what was wrong? Well, I want you to know before I came here today, I called the doctor and told him that I was going to be healed tonight and that I, wanna, I made an appointment to have a blood test in the morning because I have lupus. I did have lupus. I had lupus. That's a, that's a form of blood cancer. And how does it feel now? Um, we found out that it was, uh, Francis prayed for me in Orlando and, and I was slain in the spirit, but that didn't work, so I went to one of these healing teams out here. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what we want you to know. Hey, look, here comes a doctor and a one walking. Dr. O'Wellen, what has happened here? This is a woman who was in a wheelchair. And in a wheelchair? Where is your wheelchair? In the hall someplace. Out in the hall someplace. Do you care? You don't no. need it anymore. Do you turn around? They've got a camera out there that just smiling. Oh, you didn't know you were on television. Well, that's for the. Did you come? You walk. Where'd you walk from, Dr. Wellen? She walked from over here somewhere. From way over there. There's your wheel. See you. See your wheelchair down now. See that man waving at you down there. See them waving. That's how far you walked without your wheelchair. I can't believe that. When was the last time you walked? Well, I've walked short distances, but now that... But that looks like about a half mile down there. Well, not quite, but a long way. Now, That's too. Good. What was wrong with you? Believe it. I have MS. You had MS. Say, I had MS. Had MS. Yeah, see, it's gone. Say, it's gone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's gone. Okay, now, you'll, now what you'll do as you take exercise, just you'll limber those things up. Every morning, stretch real hard. You stretch. It's not, who laid hands on you? Was it that man who brought you up here? A lot of people. A lot, this young man, come up here. Praise God. See, I want you to know, Jesus said every believer, every believer, turn around and face back that way. Tell me, what kind of work do you do? I'm a financial planner. A financial planner? You planned her finances good, didn't you? I didn't do it. Jesus had all the control. Well, no, Jesus in you did it, but, but if you hadn't have been out there, 
Uh, do you think she'd been out of that wheelchair? No. Jesus assigned you to go heal her. Who's this lady? Hi, I'm, I'm Kathy Sheets. Are you related to him? You were just on a team out there? You knew him? And what, the two of you lay hands on her and got her out of that wheelchair? She was sitting next to the wheelchair when we started working on it. But how do you feel? Hot. Hot? She feels hot. Well, that's, nice. that's God's Holy Spirit. Skin feels like it's, it's burning. Skin feels like it's burning. That's God's power. Did you know that all of the, you're going to have some meat on these bones now? You're going to get limber legs like that? Just let me hold you and you bend your legs like that. Just bend it up like that. You can do it. I'll hold you up. See, you just lift it up. See that? See that? See that? See what you can do? You couldn't do that before, could you? Isn't that beautiful? Now do the other one. See, just lift it up. You can do it. See that? That was MS. Mother, that, let's go. That nasty stuff, yes. She had a spirit of unforgiveness in it, which we cast it out, and that's when the, when the process started to begin with the healing. How did you find out about the unforgiveness? The Holy Spirit just spoke to us. Just. We tried working on her, and nothing would happen, and then the Lord gave him that word, and then he, she got healed. You see what we said? We told early, I don't know if it was this afternoon or this evening, that the ministering groups here, the healing teams, would be operating in the supernatural gifts of the Spirit. They could not get her to respond. There was no healing there. And through the Spirit, they discovered that she had unforgiveness, right? And so what, did you ask God to forgive you? And you forgave that person? Yes. Yes, and then God healed you. See, God doesn't want you sick, but if we get unforgiveness and won't forgive people, Jesus said, don't do that. God even said, if you don't forgive those who have sinned against you, I can't forgive you. Now think, you're forgiven by God because you forgave that person. Hallelujah. You two take her for a walk. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Isn't that beautiful? Praise, give Jesus a praise of me. A vacant wheelchair for her sale. Okay, what you got here? You just, you just interrupted me before. Oh, that's right. I interrupted you just because of, okay, now, that's all right. now where were we in this story? <laughs> I, I said that Francis had prayed for me in Orlando, and that didn't work, so I went to the healing team out here, and, and praise the Lord, they, they cast a demon out of me that was causing my lupus, and it felt like the, the demon was just ripping me apart inside, and now my pain's gone. It's all pain, yeah. that is the first evidence doctors have told us that when you have lupus or cancer, that the first evidence is when the pain leaves and it's gone now. Yeah. Give Jesus a praise offering. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Cancer healed by an ordinary believer, just like Jesus said. Hallelujah. What do we got here? You got a saved person, you got a healed person, and I want to thank Laurie Leonard and also Tom McLaughlin. Laurie is from North Dakota, and uh, Tom is from St. Petersburg. Who are these people? They work with me over in the prayer room. I, I was also healed, I mean, not healed, but I was slain out here in the hall, but I did not receive my hearing completely. I wasn't satisfied. I met my husband. He had been down into the prayer room. He had surgery last September. September. He had a complete hip uh, replacement, and I said, John, I want to see you walk. I told him to go to that room because I was told by one of the prayer warriors that that was a place for them, them to go if they wanted lengthen of the limbs. So I watched him walk, and it was such beautiful walk. I said, I've got to have that. Hallelujah. And I noticed the other night they prayed for my hands because they were not exactly out as they should be, and they came out. And then I went down there. I said, my hearing is not here. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't want this to look like I don't have faith, but I want whatever my husband got. So I went to the room, and I sat down in the chair, and these two people worked with me, and they... They cast out, uh, they said some spirits, and they had me on the floor one minute, up in the chair the next, and they cast out each one as it came. Glory to God, I got it all. <laughs> you can hear perfectly now? The right ear still is a little muffled, but it has improved greatly. Now, now what we always tell people, that the healing is there, and so you practice hearing. That means you can put your finger on the other ear, stop it up, and listen to people. As you listen, that ear begins to develop more. And it was the right ear that was uh, still in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Say praise the Lord. 
<laughs> Did that do the rest of it? Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I love Jesus. See, she's hearing a whisper. Is that all right? I also want to thank my son-in-law, Don and Debbie Coakley, that came down and drove for us to bring us here. Hallelujah. <laughs> now, do you believe that ordinary believers, do you believe ordinary believers can minister healing to people? Yes, I believe I can. <laughs> uh, you can. Well, now, that's what we want. You go back and start repeating to other people exactly what you received here. That's the message Jesus has told us to bring through healing explosions, get people to go out there, train them to heal, and then let them go out and teach other people to heal. So you go, uh, you haven't been through our video school, you just got healed. Oh, I got all your tapes on how to do it, though. I've spent about $100 on tapes. Bless you. Did you get the book to heal the sick? Yes, I sure did. Okay, study that book and listen to the tapes, and then I would suggest you get with friends at first and get you some friends say, hey, let's try this out. Check their legs, check their arms, do those simple things like that, and you'll see God will do it for you just well. My daughter that's already doing that, Debbie's been working in this for a good while. She's the one that got me started. And was she here tonight? She's here tonight, and she wanted healing for her son's ears. I don't know. I haven't talked with her to find out if that took place or not. But kind of cabbage leaves. We want them flat down to the head. Okay, in Jesus' name, I command those cabbage leaves to be perfectly shaped ears from this night on. In Jesus' name. little Matthew foot. We don't know about it. We want to make sure it's okay. The I got a feeling that's straightened out. You just, if not, you get a hold of that foot just like that and say, now is it, uh, is it crooked? Is that it? He, he has some problems with it. I don't know exactly what they are, but he's flat footed for one thing. Okay, you get a hold of that, you get a hold of that foot like that and, and just push up. Say in Jesus name, I command new arches and you just hold it there a minute. And as you hold it, you'll feel those bones go into place. I've done it over and over again. And at first it just doesn't feel like it. But you just say, in Jesus' name, arches form, bones bend, and you hold it, and it'll just begin to give, just like that. And he'll get, you go do it. Okay, did I tell you they said I had all complete new organs? No. They gave me a whole set of new organs, Jesus did. Right, well, you go check the doctor, and you'll find it's true. Go on your way rejoicing. Okay, brother, what we got here? Lung cancer, diagnosed uh, last May. Did you have pain when you came here tonight? No, I've been taking radiation, uh -huh. and I had radiation pain. Uh, but, did, but did that leave? Uh, yeah, it's gone now. See, it's gone. That's your first evidence. As soon as that pain. See, God put a nervous system in you so that if, if something goes wrong, if you got, like you had your hand in a fire on a hot stove, if you didn't have nerves, it would burn off and you wouldn't know it. And so God gave you that ability to test it, but there was something wrong. So then when the power of God went through, it healed that cause and the nerves didn't have to hurt anymore. Yeah, had to. They prayed for me the second time on uh, the radiation treatment. She, the girl didn't know about that. Yeah, see, uh, we need to get very specific when we're ministering. Get very specific and it'll just get healed. Thank you, Jesus. I got a new lung and radiation well, treatment here. Thank Jesus often and tell people about it. All right, praise God. Our television camera's off. No, he's still got it. Okay, here we go. What was wrong, brother? First of all, I want to give uh, Jesus the glory and honor. And I didn't, I didn't know that I had one short arm shorter than the other and one short leg shorter than the other because I'm a runner and I always had a lot of pain in my legs and um, the one of the people out there prayed for me and I watched my leg grow out and then I watched my arm grow out. Had you ever seen that happen before? No. And it happened to you? Okay, now did you receive the baptism tonight? He received the baptism tonight, so all you have to do, you've got the same power they have, you go out and just get your two or three friends and say, Hey, let's check and see if you got a short leg or a short arm, because when the back is uh, uh, hurt, and sometimes you don't even know it, uh, but the back will be twisted a little bit, and it causes one arm or leg to be short. Say, so let's see what will happen, and you go ahead and measure them like they did you, and say, in Jesus' name, and you watch it grow out for you, because Jesus said, every believer, you're a believer, aren't you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going your way rejoicing. I just want to ask you one more thing. My mother's got a real bad hip, and... Um and she smokes a lot. She's been having a lot of problems with her heart lately. I just wanted to ask everybody to pray for her. Okay. Now, is, uh, she wasn't here tonight? No, I couldn't convince her to come with me. Okay, I'll tell you what. Your mother's got a bad hip. She had an accident. Uh, had an accident. Did it uh, break it or what? Well, she, the doctor said she had to live with the pain the rest of her life. It'll never okay, now. Now, what you do with your mommy, you can wait until she wakes up in the morning so she'll be in a good mood and sit her down in a straight chair, like a kitchen chair, get her to put her hips as far back as she can, and then you hold her legs out, just like that. Now we put our thumbs on her ankle bone so you can measure it, or you can look at the ankle bone, sometimes you can see it with this foot, and then you say, tell her about what happened to you, tell her your leg grew out, and tell her when you tell that 
hip to be made new, command a bone to be made in a new hip, and tell her to watch her leg, and her leg will grow out when you command that, and God will put a new hip bone in there. Oh, yeah, praise Now, let pain, you'll see the first thing, check with her. As soon as that happens, say, move and see if all that pain's not going. Say, Mama, the pain's gone, isn't it? Say it like that. Don't say, Mama, you don't have pain, or do you still have some pain? Don't do it that way. Say, Mama, is the pain gone? Let her move it, and you see what'll happen. And whatever she needs, you go ahead, Father, anoint him by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let his mama be totally healed through him, a believer, just baptized with the Holy Ghost. Give Jesus a lot of praise. Yes, sweetheart. Um, yes, I just got my um, feet healed. Do your what was knee? My feet. Your feet. What was wrong with your feet? I had flat feet, and um, every day when I wake up, I'm going to praise God that he's helped my arches. And now you feel like you got new arches? Yes. Did it look like they came up in arches? A little bit. A little bit? Well, you don't have to have a very big bit. Now, did you have pain? Were they hurting any? No, but I did keep on tripping. They did what? I kept on tripping. You did, but now you're not tripping, are you? Isn't that good? Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't that beautiful? You go do that to other people. Now, hi, sweetie. Hi. What happened to you? Um, my left hip was um, higher than my left. and then All your life that was? I don't know. You don't know. And what happened? And Jesus healed me. Isn't that beautiful? Was it a lady or a man out there that... Uh, a lady. And they, and they grew out your leg? Yes. Did you sit on the floor in a chair or what? No, I stand up and I fainted. You stood and you fainted. Well, they, that really wasn't faint. What happened, God's power just went in there. And did you know that when God's power went in, that God breathed on your very soul? And you're always going to be a better girl because of that. Because God, you felt God come in there. And that's when you went, we call that falling over backwards, falling under the power of God. And that's what it was. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Um, yes, I received a new heart tonight from the Lord Jesus Christ, and I just want the whole world to know that I love Him. Hallelujah. Did you have a sickness when you came? Um, I have a heart valve prolapse, I like a hole in my heart or a valve that doesn't work right. And I was taking pills three times a day. And I've been praying every day to the Lord, and um, I went two weeks without, and then the devil tempted me, so I swallowed a pill. And I felt bad, so I prayed to God, and I take like one a week if I need them. And after tonight, praise God, I won't be taking okay. any at all. Now, what we, re what we recommend always is that you let the doctor check it out because that way it's a safe thing to do. And we believe in doctors, and they do a phenomenal good. Now, and so what I would do, and Frances did this. Uh, she, uh, she took the pills until she get back to the doctor. When he checked her, uh, he said, throw away your pills. Said, I still don't think that, I mean, I haven't been taking them before I came tonight. I, okay. I took one last week, sometime in the middle of last week, and I've just been relying on my strength. And God. How do you feel? Do you feel differently now? I feel differently. I mean, usually I'm like hanging on every heartbeat. Oh, God, it's beating fast. Now it's not beating at all. Oh, God, I'm fixing to die. You know, my arm's going numb. And I, the devil just really plays a big spirit of fear in my life. And so I prayed to God to take it away. And it's I mean, just gone. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Yes, brother. Let's walk out a little bit further this way. What happened? I have diabetes and heart failure. And from time to time, I have very severe headache since about 10 years. Now, the, what happened tonight? Uh, tonight, I have nothing tonight. I have No headache, no pain. Uh, and, uh, okay, no. now. In this diabetes, somebody laid hands and asked for a new pancreas. Was it this lady? No, that wasn't the lady, did it? This no. man was King Farouk's doctor. He's a very famous doctor, an Egyptian doctor, and he's my doctor in Fort Myers. This is a very famous doctor. Isn't that beautiful? Do you realize what God is doing in a medical profession? We've had uh, three chiropractors and a medical doctor helping us all day today to teach us how to apply God's power. Do you love Jesus? Of course. Of course. Hallelujah. I came here. Praise the Lord. What nationality are you? Egyptian. Do you love Jesus? Of course. Of course. Hallelujah. I came here. Praise the Lord. What nationality are you? Egyptian. You're Egyptian. Did you notice a lady, well, you were probably out there, a lady from Egypt tonight was blind and got opened her eyes. This is the lady. Is that your wife? Do you know her? I have this wife. Okay, praise God. And now, uh, is this lady? My, my mother. My mother. Oh, your mother. She can see now? Did you know that? Did you know she got her eyesight? Oh, yeah. She got her eyesight. He, he can, he can, she can see now. Before that, she cannot see at all. 
isn't that? She couldn't see at all. Come up here and let them see you now. Medically, she was uh, blind. Medically, do you hear that? King, uh, King Farouk's doctor, is that who you were? He was King Farouk's doctor. I mean, uh, the top of Egypt. The King of Egypt. He was his doctor. He's a very famous medical doctor in surgery and other things of that. No, heart uh, problem. Heart problem. And you had a heart problem yourself? I'm a heart problem now. I... And I have diabetes. And sometimes I have very severe uh, headache. Now, when they laid hands on your heart and come out a new heart, could you feel a difference? Yeah. As a medical doctor, do you feel that that's healed? No. Yeah, I am a medical doctor. You feel the heart's already healed? Isn't that fantastic? She's taking her part. You can, well, she can take your part. See, uh, Frances, and my beautiful wife, wherever she is, uh, uh, to 11 years ago, Frances had an enlarged heart. The doctor just went her through all the EKGs, x-rays, the whole thing, and brought her a picture of it, an x-ray, and he said it's a greatly enlarged heart, had a hole in a valve, and she had blood pressure 225 over 140, and that was after three hours of medication for lowering the blood pressure, and God spoke to me and said, take authority over the heart. And I jumped up on the bed, and I pointed that heart, and I said, heart, in the name of Jesus, I command you to be healed, I command you to be be a new heart. I command you to go down in size. I command that valve hole to be healed. I command the blood pressure to go down. And with uh, with a technician from a hospital checking her blood pressure, running the uh, stethoscope around, uh, then in 12 minutes the pain left Francis' head. It was excruciating pain. The blood pressure went down to 140 over 80. She went back to the doctor. He ran her back through all EKGs, all kind of heart tests, X-ray, and he came out with two X-rays. And he said, "This is the old and large heart. This is the new." The new one, yes. and, and uh, it was uh, normal. It was a normal heart, and he said, Francis, you've got a new heart, the heart of a 16-year-old girl. God did a transplant. I have a coronary. 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 Yes. Yeah, and uh, I have some uh, medication, and the doctor said to me, if you will have this uh, attack again, you will have uh, heart surgery open heart surgery, so that I am afraid and I came today to pray for me. Isn't that beautiful? And I believe, now I tell you, if I could have an usher over here, could you give me an usher? Jack, uh, I'm gonna, did you ever give anybody a booster shot? With second shot, I'm gonna give you a booster shot. See, Francis also had diabetes and hyperglycemia. You know what dysinsulinism is? Uh, she had that and the doctor checked her February, a year and a half ago. And uh, I laid hands on her, and I said, in Jesus' name, I command a new pancreas. Two weeks later, she went back went back through a six-hour glucose tolerance test. The doctor checked her all out, and he said, Francis, throw all medication away. You've got a new pancreas. So God is going to, uh, you check it out. And would you write us a letter? Write us a letter and tell when you get it all medically checked. Okay, send us a letter. Now, in Jesus' name, Father, I thank you that the healing is done. I'm simply laying hands to give him a booster shot, and I command a brand new heart, the whole heart system, the valve system. In Jesus' name, I command all the arteries and vessels to open up. I command a brand new heart, proven by medical authorities when they take the x-rays and the other tests, and I command a new pancreas, and I command that there's never, ever going to be another part of diabetes or dysinsulinism our hyperglycemia. Father, we praise you for that. Isn't that fantastic? Folks, you see the glory of God going out to an ordinary person, uh, the doctor, a famous surgeon of the world, the doctor of King Farouk, the king of Egypt, and he comes because he hears that people will heal in ministries, ordinary people, maybe some slave out there, maybe some housewife, maybe some engineer came up to him and healed this man, this great man of God, this great surgeon. God healed him. Would you give Jesus a praise offering? Hallelujah. Pray, is that beautiful? Uh, uh, praise the name of Jesus. I came here, I'm a medical doctor too. You are a medical doctor too? And now, are you related to? Right. Uh, what, what? My uh, uh, brother-in-law. Hallelujah. And this is? My sister-in-law. Sister. Is she a doctor too? No, you just take care of the two doctors. <laughs> <laughs> and I came today for, because I know that I have a, a small tumor in the ovary. 
and I know that uh, the power of God uh, did the miraculous uh, healing and uh, also I have short of one leg and instantly uh, the, the power of the Lord uh, grow uh, half an inch of uh, 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 praise the name of Jesus have you received the baptism do you speak in tongues yes do you, do you speak in tongues? Do you speak in tongues? Did you? you well, now keep doing it. See, once you speak in tongues, you can do it again. Uh, now, now uh, you didn't come up tonight when we had. You came up? He didn't come. Okay. I tell you what. You love Jesus, don't you? You know you've been born again. Now I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay hands on you. God's power. You felt God's power. You felt it out there. You felt it here. When I lay hands on you, I want you to begin to love God, but not in Hebrew, uh, not in uh, Egyptian. I'm sorry, not in Egyptian, not in English, or not in any other language you know. But just begin to make little syllable sounds of praise up to God. You can start with me, but don't try to think. Just start letting the sounds go up. But love God, and you'll suddenly find that you speak in tongues, and then you'll not only have medical power, but you'll have the power of God. And when you do surgery, you just pray in tongues, and God will direct you. All of a sudden, you're going to find, I didn't know how to do that particular thing. I've never seen that before, but you're going to know exactly what to do because God will give you that. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for baptizing my brother with the Holy Spirit. Now, let's just take a deep breath. Let's begin to love God, but no language you know. Little sound. Just make them by faith. Isn't that fantastic? Say, I just received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Just received the baptism in, in the Holy Spirit. I just received the gift of the Holy Spirit. I just received the gift of the Holy Spirit. And, and I just spoke in another language. And I spoke in, langu in, lang in another language. And I didn't know that language. I did not know that. Because that was God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to show you something that's really exciting. I want somebody that's a real fanatic to come up here. Are you a fanatic? No. Yeah. Jesus. Fanatic. Okay. I tell you what, now I want you to do, I want you to stand right there. Would you come around on this side in an usher and back? I want to show you the power of God that just came in you. No, no, come back of this man. You come, in, come around and usher on, uh, no, I want you to stand in front, but I want you to be in back of the usher, this uh, healing team, back up just, well, no, you got enough room. Now I want you to lift your hands up, and now I want you to walk up real close to him, and just touch him right on the head and just hold your finger up on top of his head. No, right up here. Just touch him on top, on top of the head like this. Okay, now watch watch what happened. Whoo, glory to God. What is he? That's the same thing that happened to you just now. You have, you got the power of God. And see? It's and you, wonderful, Lord. It's wonderful. You laid hands on him. God breathed on him. Isn't that wild? Isn't that fantastic? Hallelujah. Praise God. Now that is, that's what's... So fast. You can't so fast. Well, God's power. See, your spirit from your, from your feet to your head, you were, you're filled up with God. Oh, wait, get us out. We have to get an usher. Praise the Lord. Glory. You have to get a catcher for him. Glory to God. That's his why. Oh, hallelujah. Give me somebody else. Come over here. Yeah, usher, get behind him real quick. When you guys get behind now just lay hands and walk up close to him. Lay hands on him. Say, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. This and that exciting. Glory to God. Give me another. I'm a doctor. I want him. You're a doctor. Okay. Lay, no, lay, lay hands on her. Just walk up a little closer. Say, thank you, Jesus. Bless her. Thank you. Isn't that fan? Glory. Holly, isn't that wild? Isn't that exciting? That's, that's wonderful. See, that's uh, both. Uh, Jesus said, you will receive power. What's your name? Risk, R-I-Z-K. R-I-Z-K, Risk. Isn't that fantastic? Fami, the first name is Fami. Fami, Fami, F-A-H-M-Y. F-A-H-M, Fami. He's going to give me a business card. Fantastic. Will you all write us a letter and tell us in about a week what all is going on? I want to hear the doctor's report. I am, I am sorry. Doctor I am sorry. No, don't be sorry. That was good. Bill. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Next time she said, I want to pay. That's, that's her doctor, and he laid hands on her, and she went under the power. I tell you, he is excited. That's beautiful. The Can I, uh, uh, I if I lay hand on the sick, I'm going to heal them in the name of Jesus. That's where you got the baptism. As soon as you spoke in tongues, God's Spirit filled you up from your feet to your head. And 
I won't speak in tongues. Okay, now just start with me, because you've already received Jesus baptized with the Holy Spirit. Now just open your mouth, and let's start with a little funny little sound. See, you just speaking in tongues. All. Now you all get together. You sing in tongues. So let the whoo glory tell you. He is excited. That's beautiful. The Can I, uh, uh, I, if I lay hand on the sick, I'm going to heal them in the name of Jesus. That's where you got the baptism. As soon as you spoke in tongues, God's Spirit filled you up from your feet to your head. And I want to speak in tongues. Okay, now just start with me, because you've already received Jesus baptized with the Holy Spirit. Now just open your mouth, and let's start with a little funny little sound. See, you just speaking in tongues. All. Now you all get together. You sing in tongues. So let the whoo, glory to God. Let the whole hold her up because we don't have a, we got steps there. Now you be careful about laying hands on people. Be sure you got them in front of a couch or get somebody to catch them because the power of God's in you. Fantastic. That's fantastic. Wonder this is my sister so coming from Egypt so to, be, to deliver her baby now. Oh, she is. And, uh, she doesn't speak in tongues. She doesn't uh, speak in tongues? Would you, uh, yes. Okay, now. Uh, does she speak English? Yes. Okay. Okay, tell her to begin to make little funny little syllable sounds loving God, but don't think about the sounds and don't speak in Egyptian or English. Okay. Jesus baptized you with the Holy Spirit. Now, now let's go. No English, no Egyptian. See, you just speak. She's speaking in tongues too. Isn't that beautiful? Francis, can you come here? I want Francis is going to lay hands on your baby because Francis has kid and now if she doesn't understand me uh, Francis uh, I want you to meet uh, uh, I met him. Oh, you met him already it was a doctor to King Farouk how about that uh, uh, did you know he got the baptism and he's laying hands people falling under the power of God his sister his, his wife went under the power uh, where's his sister that went under, and now she just flew over, but now she came over here she's gonna have a baby but you tell and you may need to translate let Francis tell her what's gonna happen and if you need to give her better English Okay. In Jesus' name, in Jesus name, I speak the anointing of God upon this baby. I speak anointing, anointing uh, my baby. For yes. And mm. as soon as you get to the hospital, uh, Father, I ask you to oil this birth canal with the oil of the Holy Spirit. Well, you tell her. And let this baby slide out. baby is perfect and whole in less than three hours with no pain to the mother. Woo! Catch her. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't this fantastic? This uh, this whole family. Also, her husband's also a doctor in Saudi oh, Arabia. Really? Right now. Is everybody doctors over there? They're all related. This now her husband is a doctor. Is a Would you pray for my husband? He have depression. He's got depression. Wait until you lay hands on him and speaks in tongues. Uh, oh, praise the name of Jesus! Praise you. Has he accepted Jesus yet? Father, in Jesus' name, we ask you to station seven angels around her husband and let him feel the presence of God. Father, let him see the glory of God on her. And then, Father, when she uh, just says, repeat this after me, listen to it, say, say to him, honey, God's so great, repeat this after me. Well, she's gone off with Jesus. Hallelujah. Repeat this after me, Jesus, for you. Father, y'all lead him to He's your brother. Well, y'all go ahead and say, don't ask him if he wants to accept Jesus. Say, repeat this after me. Say, Jesus, I want to know you. Forgive my sins. Come into my life. Take over, Jesus. And then uh, let him. I, I tell this to my brother? Yes. Well, why not? Or both of you get together. My children to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. You just, and then none of them here? Twelve and uh, nine. Okay, you uh, always pray for them that to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Okay, now, do they both, are they both born again? Yes. Okay, now. Speak in 
tongues. Okay, but you go home and, and show them what you did. You speak in tongues and say, Mama wants you to have that too. And you say, now I'm going to lay hands on you and I want you to begin to love God, but not in any language you know. And to say, make these funny little sounds of love to God and just, just lay hands and say, Jesus baptized him in the Holy Spirit. And then you start, my husband. Well, after he gets born again, you have to be born again before you speak in tongues. Please for him, please. Well, I did just now. That's when you went under the pot.